Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we are going to be learning about how you can repair your WordPress database. So MySQL is an open source database management system which is used to store your website's data in the WordPress database. So all WordPress databases have a default MySQL structure that allows your website to function properly. But sometimes what happens is that your database might be corrupted, it could be hacked, you might have messed it up in somehow, some of the uh, information might be lost. So what you can do is you can get your database to go through a repairing process. So for that you need to basically uh, create a backup for your database and then you should uh, change the credentials of your database and then go make it go through a repairing process and then of course in the end optimize your database so in this video we are going to check out each and every one of these steps so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video okay guys so the first things that you need to do is to create a backup of your site so it's super simple to create your backup with cyber panel now all you have to do is click on the wordpress tab from the left hand side menu click on list wordpress click on your uh, your wordpress site title for example right now i'm going with staging and in staging what you have to do is this is your basically your wordpress manager this is a new feature of cyber panel and on this page you are going to check out the backups tab so click on that and you can select whether you want to back up your WordPress uh, website and database both or only your website data or only your web uh, database. So I want to create a backup of website and database. So when I click on, uh, uh, click on create backup, it is going to create a backup of my website and my database. So it's super simple to create a backup for your WordPress site. Okay, so once your backup is created, now where to check your errors at, like where your errors are basically logged. So you have to do is, all you have to do is scroll down and in the left hand side menu in logs tab, click on error logs. So it's going to take you to the error logs page and it is going to show you all the errors that have been conflicted, all the, you can say how many these are last 50 lines so you can check out all your errors right over here you can refresh it you can clear logs as well so from here you can check out your error logs using cyber panel okay so once you have checked out your error logs you need to change the credentials for your database file what you can do for that is go into wordpress from the left hand side menu click on list wordpress and it's going to redirect you to the list WordPress website. Click on your WordPress site. From here, click on file manager. Now, this is your WordPress manager. Simply click on file manager and it's going to redirect you to your file manager for your WordPress site. From here, click on wp-config.php. Right click on it and go into edit with code mirror. So this is basically showing you like define database name, define database user, password, host. It's basically showing you information about your database. So you can always change the name of your database and then your password for your database. So by changing the credentials, you're essentially stopping any more um, errors that might be happening with your database. So this is how you can change your credentials. Okay, so once you have changed your credentials, what you can do is you can basically tell WordPress to repair your database. Now to do so in the same file in wp-config, scroll down and add the line which says, that's all, stop editing, happy publishing, above it, enter the following piece of code which is define WP allow repair true. Once you do that, click on save. I will also mention this piece of code in the description of this video. Click on save changes. And now when you access this URL and instead of your site.com, you need to enter your site's domain. I'll just paste it right over here. 
and from your dashboard I click on open and check get my domain from here and paste it instead of your site.com so this is the URL you need to access enter and it is automatically going to take you to the database repair page so it's super simple let me just go through this step again go into your WP config file from file manager enter one little piece of code which is WP allow repair once it is done go to this URL and instead of this little piece of URL enter your sites uh, basically URL or domain name and click enter and it's going to take you to your WordPress database repair page okay so once you your page opens up you can tell WordPress to repair your database or you can tell it to repair and optimize database so let's just click on repair database so after clicking on it, it's going to tell you that all tables are okay. So right now it's a dummy site, so of course all tables are okay, but if there's an error, it's going to show you right on this page. Okay, so once you have completed this repair uh, process, it is very crucial to go back into your wp-config file and remove this line. So this is only when, you're, when you want to repair your site, only then you can do this. Click on save changes and everything is good to go. Lastly, I'm going to show you how you can optimize your WordPress website. Uh, sorry, WordPress websites database. Okay, so it is again extremely simple to optimize your database. All you have to do is go into your cyber panel dashboard. For example, this is your dashboard. And from your dashboard, scroll down click on databases let's find databases and click on php my admin so when you click on that it's going to redirect you to php my admin from here just check out which was your um, database for your website for example for mine was nsvu i'll click on that and it's going to open up or the database for my all the tables in the database of my website so let me just check them all click on with selected and click on optimize table so it is super simple it's going to optimize your table for you okay so now my tables in my database are optimized so this is how basically how you can prepare your wordpress database using cyber panel so I hope this video was really informative for you guys. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyber Panel.